What's going on YouTube? Today, starting the adventure off sitting in my truck, mostly because I am in downtown Columbus, and obviously it's pretty loud with the cars going back and forth. Um, today's video is themed around the Wendy's Corporation, Dave Thomas. Um, looking at a few things, the original Wendy's, which I'm getting ready to show you guys, spoiler, was actually open here in Columbus, Ohio, and then it expanded into the franchise restaurant that we all know and love. Um, so yeah, we'll be checking a few things out, looking at a, a few artifacts from Wendy's, and uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Let's go check out the first Wendy's. So unfortunately, spoiler alert, the first Wendy's restaurant is no longer here. However, there is a historical marker for the first Wendy's restaurant, which used to set... I believe it sat right here, where now the uh, Catholic Foundation is. Um, and then that statue is also new. But for years, the first Wendy's was right here. Uh, I believe it was tore down like in 2000. I, this marker is 2007. I feel like it was torn down before that. I'd have to look that up though. But yeah, this was it. The first Wendy's restaurant right here. Also speaking about this and kind of walking around this this statue um, back in like middle school I want to say oh gosh I want to say seventh grade before it was tore down I actually got to eat in the first Wendy's and then literally I think a year or two later they tore it down but I was able to go inside the first Wendy's eat at the first Wendy's restaurant so that's pretty freaking cool um, it's impossible to do now because it's no longer here uh, we'll be going to a place later on where there's a few uh, things to remember the restaurant by, but um, yeah, I, I believe the story behind them closing it was the building was in pretty rough shape. It's not, su it was not super busy. Um, even being the first restaurant, it was not busy. I feel like if it would have just waited like five more years, it would have got slammed with with the internet and everything. It would have got slammed with business. Um, but yeah, they decided to tear it down because it just it wasn't making enough revenue for the restaurant. Um, you know, it's super sad. Um, I've tried to go to a lot of first fast food restaurants, even being vegan. I still, it's it's America, uh, pop culture, history. So it's cool to see. Um, I've been to the first KFC in Corbin, Kentucky. I've been to the first Wendy's. All right, so obviously I'm vegan. So there's not a lot at a Wendy's restaurant at the time that I can really eat. I think the french fries and maybe the salad without, uh, you know, any of the, I don't even know if the salad, it's probably got milk in it, but like with the croutons or salad, whatever. But this is the time where I'm going to show you guys a cool alternative restaurant here in Columbus that I love going to called Satan's Realm. Now I am not going to sit here and try and explain to you guys what Satan is. Freaking Google it. It is I can't make it sound appealing. It's basically uh, bread gluten is what I've been understanding. Google it, figure it out for yourself. But they actually have a quote unquote baconator type sandwich. Um, super good restaurant, really cool to see, located on High Street. Um, not at all promoted it. They're not like paying me to freaking say this. I just love the restaurant, it's really good. Um, they have some Lindsay's Donuts in there that are also super freaking good. Um, but yeah, so Satan's Realm is where I'm going to eat today for lunch. Uh, that was kind of my plan for this, and uh, hopefully the food looks good. And uh, let's get back to the video about Wendy's. But anyway, Satan's Realm, shout out to you guys. Okay, so now we are in Dublin, Ohio um, at the headquarters for Wendy's. This is like really close to, it's like 20 minutes from the first location that you guys just saw. Um, it's a Saturday. There's no one here. I'm not you can't go inside. You can't like See anything, but this is the headquarters building. So I'm gonna kind of just show you around some things here um, Hopefully security doesn't yell at me and tell me to freaking leave. So yeah Wendy's headquarters right here in central Ohio walking around you can see I'm parked right there. This is the building um, The front of this kind of looks like a Wendy's store, which is pretty funny. They've got a little pond here Nice little walking path. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna get too close in the stuff because uh, you know I don't want to get arrested or questioned about what the heck I'm doing. 
but you can see here's the front of the building if you look right there it says Wendy's the Wendy's company right there on the side so yeah this would be the front of the building and now I'm walking on the road but again no one's here I did not park in the visitors parking but I mean here it is so this is this is the Wendy's headquarters even got a Wendy's flag up there pretty dope honorary Dave Thomas Boulevard as a bunch of cars just got let out on a red light so it's kind of loud probably but if you go over here here is the Wendy's company sign so how freaking cool is that this sign's a lot taller than I thought it was gonna be but here it is Now, like I was saying earlier, as far as I know, there's no tours of this place. Um, there's no, like, anything like that. You kind of just, people work here, you know? Um, that's pretty much all this place is. However, literally right across the street is a Wendy's restaurant. And like I was talking about the first Wendy's, how it had all this memorabilia and old, like, cool things. Um, when they tore that down, a lot of that stuff got put into a showcase inside the Wendy's headquarters. Well, a few years ago, this Wendy's right across the street, they took a lot of those items and put them in there. So that's where we're gonna go next. Um, check out all that stuff. <laughs> I went to this Wendy's once, just randomly, because a few years ago they were doing $1 large fries, and their fries are fantastic. So I went in there. I ordered six large fries. The guys freaked out, like, why did I order six large fries? But I did. And that's when I discovered they had all this stuff in there. Um, and it's pretty dope. So if you come here to see this, really, there's not a lot to see. There's the sign to see, um, the Dave Thomas, Thomas Boulevard sign also. But go across the street and check out that museum, like I'm going to show you now, because there is some really cool stuff over there. So let's head over across the street. I'm not kidding either when I say right across the street. Like, here's my truck. There is the Wendy's. So, like, we're going to go to the stop sign here. I'm going to turn right, and there's another stop light back there. I'm going to turn left, and I'm in Wendy's. So it's literally across the street. Also, it is freezing out. Like, feels like 14. Frick yeah, it does. It is freaking cold. That took, like, a whopping two minutes to get over here. But here we are at the Wendy's restaurant located right across the street from the headquarters. Um, they do a lot of test items here too as well. And they don't ever like announce it, it just kind of happens. So maybe they got something in there that's vegan I can test. That's not a large fry. But let's go inside and uh, look around. And of course you are greeted with a Dave Thomas statue. Look at this boy. How cool is that? We've got a bag of food. We've got a frosty. Dave Thomas. So like I said, you come inside here and you're greeted by a lot of the artifacts. Not all of them, but a lot of the artifacts that were inside the first Wendy's. I remember, I think these were hanging up in the first Wendy's when I went. Um, which may be what this explains. These things are all behind glass displays. A lot of neat stuff in here. A lot of history. Four Wendy's. And if I remember right, and I think it says it on the sign, this was some of the seating area that was taken from the Wendy's. And that's pretty much what that confirms. And yeah, the lamps are also from there. So, how cool is that? This flat screen was not from there. And then here's some more history. You can actually eat food in here if you want. 
There is one of the, uh, I believe this is the shovel. Wow, look at these freaking, I think these are some lapels. Those are amazing. 4,000 Wendy's. Frick. Here's one of the original outfits. Again, some more button pins. Cool bandana. I mean, there's a lot in this small little area here. There's some advertisements. There was some more over there. There's some more here. I'm trying my best so you guys don't see it with a giant glare. It's very hard to do. Looks like this was a grill. A test grill. Wow, look at that. A spatula down there. We all remember this chick, this old lady. Where's the beef? Their famous uh, advertisement. Again, it's, it's not wanting to cooperate, but here you go. Some artifacts, 50th year, anniversary stuff. Dave Thomas. I think that's Wendy. Pretty sure that's Wendy. Yes, Wendy Thomas. How about that? Dave's way. Got a freaking bobblehead. Some more lapels and things. Some more advertisements. Here's some cartoons. I'm pretty amazed how much stuff is in this little area, honestly. The Dave Thomas Foundation talks about that a little bit and then this is pretty crazy so there's like a similar sign of what we just saw here's an Olympic torch relay that Dave actually had you can see that so that's pretty amazing but I'm gonna show you this freaking hamburger here and I can't believe what it says I think it's $105,000 look at that thing what the frick I saw this sign as I was coming out from using the bathroom and Dave Thomas was actually adopted so that's pretty crazy to think about and that's why he started his foundation just wanted to point that out I must have got a very big order here at this Wendy's look at all that food Now we come to the last stop in our video, Union Cemetery, the final resting place of Dave Thomas. This is located pretty much in the back of the cemetery. Um, once you get in here, you go all the way down this driveway. He's located in the Malazeum. I think that's how you say that. And there's the hours. And let's go in here and look. Pretty much as soon as you walk in, immediately look to the left and you will see Dave Thomas and his wife. You see people have left pennies and I think this is either a silver dollar or a half dollar and a dime and a paper clip. There it is. And I believe that is gonna do it for our video. Um, you can see, I'm like horrible when I go to do this. Like, go over here and then look this way. There you go, right there. Once again, the grave of Dave and his wife. Um, hopefully you guys found this video pretty interesting. Hopefully you saw some really cool stuff. 
um, you know, like, subscribe, all that bull crap. And uh, see you on the next adventure.